So what is going on guys, I'm Black Ops welcome back to another video on the channel where today I have some news that I don't know if I should be happy about, I feel like I should because I love this studio, but then also at the same time, I'm not really pleased about because this might affect Call of Duty going into the future and specifically Treyarch's games and their next one in 2024 and what this news is, is that potentially they are helping Sledgehammer to work on this year's Call of Duty. Now, what exactly they're helping on, we don't know. If we go to that article by Insider Gaming that came out, I think it was a month or two ago now, where they revealed that this year's Call of Duty is Modern Warfare 3 and it's in development by Sledgehammer Games. But what they also told us is it's understood to be supported by various other Call of Duty studios just like its predecessors. So this isn't anything new. If you look at the past few Call of Duties, in fact, it goes way, way back to the days of 2011 and before that. Other studios have helped each other out. Right now, with the most recent COD, Modern Warfare 2, Treyarch actually helped on that. Even though it's Infinity Ward's game, Treyarch made the camo system for Modern Warfare 2. They also made the ranked play that is entirely theirs, even though, again, that's Infinity Ward's game. That's a mode that Treyarch have made for them. And there are probably a few other things that they've done in that game as well, because we know Activision has multiple, not just the three main ones of Treyarch, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. They also have Raven, Blue Moon, and a few other small ones as well that have helped on Modern Warfare 2. If we go back a little bit further to Vanguard, everybody knows that that was Sledgehammer's game. However, Treyarch made the Zombies mode for it. Another example of studios helping each other out. We go back a year before that to Cold War. That game actually wasn't even Treyarch's. Everybody thinks it was, but it was originally Sledgehammer's. They did about a year's work on it before being moved to work on Vanguard and Treyarch took over the project. So technically, two studios helped to make that game. So that came out in 2020. And if you want to go even further back to the last one I remember was Modern Warfare 3 back in 2011. That was an Infinity Ward game, yet if I'm not wrong in saying, Sledgehammer also did a lot of work on it. I think it was either Sledgehammer or Raven, I'm pretty sure it was Sledgehammer. But a lot of Call of Duties, not all of them, haven't just had one developer work on them like we all think. We say, oh, this is a Treyarch game, this is an Infinity Ward game, or this is a Sledgehammer game. Sometimes, yes, it's that developer's game, but another one like Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward or Treyarch have helped them with it. And so when we come to this year's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, when we find out that Sledgehammer are having help from various other COD studios, that isn't really surprising news. I'm just more interested to know which studios are going to be helping out and on what, because the Call of Duty cycle at the moment is so messed up. In fact, it's that messed up that we weren't even supposed to be getting a COD this year. There was supposed to be nothing besides from a dlc which is what this cod has been turned into but with cod vanguard that game turned out to be a hot mess a lot of people hated on the zombies mode and started hating on treyarch for you know producing a bad zombies when really it wasn't their fault they were dragged in to work on it and even more to the point i believe it wasn't even treyarch's zombies team it was some of their multiplayer devs that made vanguard zombies a lot of people hated on cold war and were like you, you know it, it wasn't as good as it should have been and treyarch got the blame for that but again they were dragged in to work on it when it was originally Sledgehammer's game. They didn't have the full development time that they should have. So this kind of worries me because we've seen multiple examples of other development studios having to be dragged in to work on other studios' games, which then actually creates more of a problem than it solves. It means that studio that's been dragged in to work on another game then doesn't get all of the focus on their own. If you're taking some of Troyok's developers away to work on an Infinity Ward game or a Sledgehammer game, well, they're developers that should be working on their own product and then when Troyok's own product does release, everybody hates on it because it's not as good as it should be because they've been taken to work on other games that weren't theirs and then the cycle repeats over and over again. So as I said, to find out that other studios are working on Modern Warfare 3 isn't surprising but it is worrying. Now we haven't had confirmation which studios are helping to work on Modern Warfare 3. Is it Troyok? Is it Infinity Ward? We don't know and also what exactly are they working on? The campaign? The multiplayer? Warzone, there are rumours that it's going to have a zombies mode or outbreak. If that's the case, then just like Vanguard Zombies, there's a chance that Treyarch are going to be making the zombies mode for Modern Warfare 3 or at least assisting on it, working alongside Sledgehammer to make it. And I've seen some comments over on Twitter. I should have screenshotted them at the time, but it's pretty much impossible for me to find them now. But I've seen a few people saying that potentially it is Treyarch that will be helping to make zombies for Sledgehammer's COD. Just like Vanguard, will it be a few multiplayer devs? For some reason, I can't see that being the case, simply because everybody, including the developers and Activision, would have seen the reception for Vanguard Zombies. They know it was hated on. They also know the reasons 
why that was. Taking a small amount of Trokes multiplayer dev team and then having them work on it obviously didn't work out. That wasn't the answer. So if they were to do that again for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, that just wouldn't make sense. Surely they know better than that by now. If they are going to take Troke devs, it would make sense to take some of these Zombies team. But if they do that, well... <sighs> Troyok's game is supposed to be coming out next year, but Troyok's Zombies team is one of the smallest ones that they have, so you would imagine they need all of their members working on their Zombies mode for next year, meaning if you just take a couple of the Zombies team devs and have them work on Sledgehammer's COD, that potentially could affect their next game. And for me, I feel like we haven't had a good Troyok Zombies in a while since BO3 was the peak for me, the amazing zombies game from Troyok. Black Ops 4 was okay, Cold War was okay, Vanguard was crap, but it's been a while since we've had an amazing zombies mode. I felt like next year in 2024 really was promising, considering that they would have had three to four years to work on it. Cold War was their last game that came out in 2020. They would have started working on it pretty much straight after it came out, so if it comes out in 2024, that's between three to four years of development time. That's a good amount of time to work on a COD game. Troyok have had some deviations along the way, working on Vanguard for the Zombies mode, Modern Warfare 2 for the multiplayer mode, but still I thought, well, they're not that big of distractions where it should affect their game. So I was and still am really hopeful for their next Call of Duty in 2024. The whole package, the multiplayer, the campaign, the Zombies mode, the Battle Royale we can assume it's going to have as well. I was really looking forward to it because there was a lot of promise there that it was going to be good Call of Duty finally, but if they do have some of their developers taken away to work on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, well, I'm afraid that might affect it. It doesn't automatically mean that their game is going to be bad, but you want it to be the best it can be and to give it the best chance, you need all of their developers. Even if it's one person, it makes a difference. It could be the difference between, I don't know, having a bit of detail in a Zombies map to quite a lot of detail, or having that one extra side easter egg or i don't know a new perk one thing that vanguard zombies lacked was content there weren't enough or weren't really any new zombies maps there weren't enough easter eggs there wasn't enough you know storyline stuff going on and a lot of that was because there wasn't a big enough development team it was just a few people on the other side of the argument that does show you what just a few developers can achieve on themselves when you think about it from that side I guess it's pretty impressive, but that also proves what a difference just a few developers can make. If not many people were able to make Vanguard Zombies, think about it. If you take that amount of people away from Treyarch, that could be enough people to make, like I said, one extra Zombies map or a lot more content. And that's what we want. That's one thing we've been missing from Zombies. The past few games, Cold War, Vanguard, BO4 towards the end, didn't quite have that polish that we've come to expect from Treyarch Zombies. And one of the big reasons for that was because they were just going through problems, whether it be budgets, developers leaving, a lot of people actually left during the end of BO4 and between then and Cold War, and even Cold War and Vanguard, a lot of people have left Troyok and some new people have come in. Along with taking some of their devs to work on other games, Troyok have suffered quite a bit over the past few years, so it would be nice if they could just focus on their own COD. I get it's kind of a normal practice at this point for studios to help each other out, but Troyok at the moment is kind of the one studio that you want to focus on their own game because it's about the only studio I also have faith in. For me, Infinity Ward have blown it, Sledgehammer have blown it, Troyok even though they haven't produced the best games, for some reason I'm still hopeful for what they release. And knowing that some of the devs could now be working on this year's card is a bit annoying because I just thought and wanted them to fully focus on their own cod so hopefully this doesn't affect call of duty in 2024 anyway there we go let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always hopefully you've enjoyed the video today if you have drop a like rating make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one until then goodbye